So I was outside and I was getting sandblasted, so I had to come back in. Um, I moved the truck up out of the way of the trees and we're inside. The camper yeah. is fine. Hopefully, nothing will fall on us. Yeah. Because we're surrounded by cottonwood trees. Yeah, that would be very good. They don't grow them like this in Maine, and from what I understand, this is a mild one. Yeah. <laughs> you okay, Joyce? Yeah, I'm Ooh. fine. <laughs> Very exciting! Yeah! yeah. Look at that! <laughs> ah, okay. Hopefully it won't last long. <laughs> so, here we are at the laundromat. It's very exciting, as laundromats can be. Yeah. Uh, seven minutes left for the wash for load, and then the dryer. And then we're out of here. To maybe Arby's? Maybe. Maybe. We love their uh, their turkey sandwich. Yeah. Hopefully they have it here. Yeah. They do so. a lot of other places. So. We're still in uh, Nevada at the uh, state park, the Minotaur uh, Lake State Park that we uh, we spent oh what, five days here, yeah. um, grabbing grabbing a spot and trying to uh, ride out Memorial Day weekend. So here it is Memorial Day Monday morning. Um, yeah. It is pouring rain. I'm partially soaked from from so, getting set so, up and, yeah. and getting ready to go, and we're about to head out and. We're going to um, Wyoming, it's about four hours away, to some public access land, uh, kind of like BLM land. Yeah. Um, and there's uh, a number of areas that are, you know, free camping areas out there. Um, we found that, um, that the state parks and, and RV places are still, um, are still have a lot of people in them. It isn't like, usually we leave on Sunday, everybody's left, we get someplace Sunday night and the place is empty. I thought it would be that way on Memorial Day weekend, but it looks like people are staying over uh, tonight and probably won't leave until tomorrow. Because I see that um, there are no, hardly any reservations at campgrounds on Tuesday. So, uh, we'll stop and try, grab, grab a coffee someplace. Yeah. And uh, what, it's um, what time you pretty early in the morning. It's like 7.30. Yeah. And um, we're uh, on the road again. Yes. After quite a while. Yes. Head and list. Head and list. See you later. Bye. Well, we've been traveling this morning and um, we've hit about 50 miles of dirt roads and now we're heading towards Laramie, Wyoming. Um, to some BLM land. We're still a couple hours away. We're hoping there'll be some vacancy there. It's first come, first serve out in the middle of nowhere. How you doing, Joyce? Had your coffee? Yes. <laughs> Took us a while. We, we drove through for two hours or through no, nowheres and about an hour on a dirt road until we finally came to Wheaton where they had some gas, which we really needed, yes. and coffee. We actually had an Arby's that served breakfast, so. Uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was yeah. a long, long wait, but it was pretty good. And yeah. now we're, um, we're just continuing west. Oh, 
in our camper. <laughs> and we're at the, what is it? T at Teton. Oh, you know it more than <laughs> I do. Or is it Teton <laughs> Reservoir? It was a Nowhere near the Teton Mountains. Those are in the upper northwest corner of um, Wyoming. We're actually in, in the central south, very much in the south um, of Wyoming. Um, it's called the Teton Reservoir. And it's some dispersed land, which means you just come and park down here, you can stay up to 14 days. Um, I guess fishermen come down here and spend a lot of time. There's no one here. It's about 50 degrees. Um, and uh, we're filming inside right now because it is windy. You know, you it's very door, windy. You open the door and the door just like takes off on its own. You have to hold it. So it's very, very windy. windy. Um, I just brought in our extra blankets because we have no heat here without electricity. Uh, we do have our 200 amp battery, which is great for everything, but not for heat or air conditioning. Um, but it's okay. We've we've uh, blanketed down with 35 degree weather before, and we'll yes. probably get down to that or in the you know low 40s anyway. Yes. Um, so so um, we should be all all set. Yeah. It's about uh, it's about 2:33 2 2 o'clock. Yeah. And uh, we put uh, five and a half hours on the road coming from um, Nebraska Minotaur Lake, uh, the place we uh, rode out. Memorial Day weekend, and um, we, we, we planned on doing um, some dispersed camping out here quite a bit. We knew we'd have to wait until we kind of got out west, and Wyoming has a lot of dispersed camping and BLM land. Yeah. Um, and in fact, we, coming in here, we passed two or three BLM um, land areas where you, where you could stop. Bureau of Land Management, for anybody who doesn't know what that means, it's just public land. And on, on much of it, you can um, you can just park, and it's it's free. Yes. Um, there's a vault toilet out here. Yes. It's very clean. Very clean. We checked it out. Yeah. So. Um, for those of you who don't know, and some people who may have never experienced the vault toilet before, they're not like an outhouse. They're a, usually a large cement structure, clean inside most most of the time. The ones I've seen, and there's a toilet sitting in there with a with a dug pit way down. But you can always tell you have a vault toilet when there's a very large stack coming out of the top of it. Because what it does is the stack is down in the pit, so it draws the air into uh, where the seat is and it comes out. There's always that, that movement of air. So all of the odor, all of the air is always going from the inside out. So you, you never have any odor. Yes, but you do feel like it. You, you do feel the air moving. It's, it's, quite, a, it's quite a bit of uh, air movement there, which is what you want. There is our, our vault toilet. That's what you want. Um, but right now the camper is shaking, and um, I'll, I'll go outside and, uh, and, and... It's a beautiful area. Yeah. It really is. is. <clears throat> and uh, we had a really nice ride coming in. Some mesas and yeah. uh, mountains in the, in the background and then and rolling uh, prairie. <clears throat> like we've been getting quite a bit of. But it got it got hillier, which was nice. Um. <laughs> and coming out here, <laughs> we were, we saw so many, you know, windmills. And you could see where the windmills were facing in front of you. And we knew from that that we were driving into the, the wind. wind. So, you know, the truck was 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 in a lower gear than usual. It was just fighting the wind with that camper. So uh, we used quite a bit of gas coming out here. Yeah. Uh, we, we stopped and we're and we're flying. And, and you know, I get, I traveled well, from a full tank of gas and got down to a quarter of a tank. And there yeah, were no we gas just... stations by the way yeah. across Wyoming. And we finally found one in, in plenty of time. Yes. But. Um, Boy, I'm keeping it above a half full now from now on until yes. we get to a, a more um, you know, populated areas. But we expect to be in rural area for a long time. And um, we're gonna, in Wyoming, 
We're either going up in Idaho or we're cutting down into Utah or, or Colorado, we're not sure, but we do know we're going across Wyoming for, for a little ways. Um, yes. We have done the northern part of Wyoming in a trip a long time ago. We cut across um, South Dakota, in yeah. northern Wyoming, we saw and you know, Devil's the Tower, Tower and the Grand Tetons, it's, and yeah. then we went up into uh, um, The big sky country. Big sky. Oh, state. Montana. Montana, there we go. <laughs> up into Montana, up to the glacier, and then, you know, we did uh, oh, yes. you know, Yellowstone and all that stuff way back. So we never traveled through the southern part of it. So this has been nice. Yes, very nice. But we just got to settle down for a cool night. Yes. Um, we have no heat but everything else. And um, we're going to make a thrown together supper from what we have in the, in the cupboard up here. We haven't decided yet. It might be a mixture of some kind of a pasta dish or something. Yeah. There's some, stuff, some seasonings I have. And um, we brought all the blankets in and this, this makes it, this is the exciting part of camping. You are in the middle of nowhere, although yeah. but a lot of BLM land, BLM land is, is way out there. Um, but this is Pretty exciting is what we came out here for. We'll probably be doing a fair amount of BLM land when we can find it because this is where it all starts. Yes. I'm here editing video and two things are happening. One, I don't know if you can hear the the wind out there. And also we're being buffeted, so we're shaking. up to a cloudy misty misty day yeah. yeah what was the temperature last night this uh, morning it was 36 it's, it's, but i think it got down lower than that last night it was uh about 40 in the camper but we had multiple blankets and i was very comfortable how about you i was too it was really so quite toasty um and even my nose didn't get cold i've been in may when my nose got cold <laughs> sleeping, but it didn't get cold so that was good so we're at the reservoir and we're gonna we have no gps um, on the phone so we're just gonna kind of like head back track a little bit about 20 miles into town that's where the crossroads are anyway i think and uh, see if we can pick up some coffee and yeah. um i need some coffee and uh, get a morning. signal so we can uh, uh, stop uh, someplace and figure out where we're going next yeah. Yeah. okay you ready to go girl yeah okay okay we left heaton reservoir and we're headed towards Rollins to uh, sit down at a McDonald's or something and figure out where we're going next because we had no cell coverage. And it started to snow. Joyce. Yes. We left Maine to come south for the warmth. Yes. What's ha what happened? What's happening? <laughs> we're in Wyoming, southern Wyoming, and it's snowing. And it was 35 degrees last night. Kind of like home, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Feels good. Yep. Okay, snow in the air, snow on the ground. Uh, not exactly a whiteout, but close to it. And, uh, son of a gun, huh, Joyce? Yep. Hi. I'm happy, though. I'm toasty warm in the truck. Yeah, we got the truck heated up. <laughs> oh, well. Sitting here at McDonald's. We got our coffee. Joyce has got a... Egg McMuffin. Yeah, Hi, Joyce. Hi. Yeah. Good coffee here. It's hit or miss with McDonald's usually. Yeah. And yeah. we decided we're going to. Where are we going? Um. 
We're going to Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area in, right there. Um, in um, Wyoming, but mostly down in Utah. It looks like a beautiful place. There's a ton of um, camping there, particularly in dispersed land. And the pictures online are just fantastic. But this is what we're getting. Let's see out there a minute. Joyce, we're not going south, we're just going west a couple hours. Mm. So, I don't know if it's going to warm up or not, but it's about 30 degrees right now. Yeah. Oh well, it's like being at home. <laughs> Except now it's probably like 80 degrees in May. Go figure. side of the camper because the wind is on the other side. It's a lot better here. We're up at some elevation here heading towards Flaming Gorge Visitor Center in Utah. We're about 30 miles from the Utah border coming down from Wyoming and we are quite high up so the cloud cover is, isn't far above our head and we see some it's not open sky but brighter sky down there and we're kind of hoping we end up down in that area because it's been cloudy and drizzly and rainy right now it's 37 degrees but what a, an exceptional an exceptional area They don't grow it like this uh, da back east, huh, Joyce? No. You have our stuff, but this is, uh, this is gorgeous. This is pretty exceptional. Pretty dramatic terrain. Okay, so we move on, sweetie. 